I'm a, I'm offended <laughs> by you saying the lyrics to that song right now. You're offending me in yeah. more ways than one. And that's the thing. I'm at my table, so I really don't care. I'm not supposed to care if I offend you. I'm supposed to keep my chakras clean. I'm making it clear. official. I'm making it official. Let's get it started. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. That's yeah. Welcome back. Yep. Hi, everybody. Orlando Brown got locked up. <laughs> That's so raven. Ah, oh, it is so raven. <laughs> I don't know what he got locked up for. Me I neither. Really don't care. You know, Orlando yeah. Brown was like, was Orlando Brown like Welvin or A Town or one of those uh, impaired people that were like YouTube stars and Vine stars and Instagram stars briefly? Is that what adult Orlando Brown turned into? No, nah, I just, I feel like I've never been to Hollywood, so I don't know what Hollywood is like. I've never been in one of those parties, you mm-hmm. know, but I feel like you got to do a lot of fakery to get to the real money. Because the only thing that's real is the money. Mm-hmm. Everything else is a game that you got to play. So as he got older and he was able to spend his own money and cash his own checks, he realized what he was doing to get this money. And it was just like, I'm tired of being this fake. Like, he might have to, you know, go the way of Cole off Martin and end up selling cars, you know. But he's still happy, though. Mm-hmm. You don't have to be a star your whole life. You can fall off and still live a happy life. But I think he went the way of, uh, what's buddy name? There was friends with Michael Jackson and... Macaulay Culkin? No, 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 no. The grown man, um... Shit, I can't think of his name. Who are you talking about? He he talking about he making the the film about all the Hollywood pedophilia. Like he played in. You're talking about Quincy Jones. No, white boy. Quincy Jones is going crazy. No, 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 no. <laughs> He's uh not not it's not Jimmy Fallon. It's something something. He was a child actor. I can't remember his what? name. Leo. No. Well, anyway, skip it. It don't yeah. matter who it was, but. You have these actors that go through the process of being a child star. He was a child star. Yeah. And now we see him getting locked up by bounty hunters. And during his Vlad, but during his Vlad interviews, man. Yeah. He it, was, it was <laughs> arguably something going on with him. Like, you think he saw something? Something. And then going on with it. So is that what happens to people? They see something and they they don't agree with it, but they still have that opportunity to walk out the room. Mm-hmm. Like they can't just disappear you. They have to let you walk out the room, and then they just make you look like you're crazy. But do they really even exist? Like that's the whole question. I guess. I guess that has they, to be a they. Yes, they exist because we think they exist. Mm-hmm. You know, just like. I exist because you think I exist. I don't agree with that, but yeah. 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 It's, it's crazy. Like Corey Feldman. That's his name. What do you look like? Corey Feldman. I'm going to show you. Corey Feldman. He played in Stand By Me. Oh. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, so Corey Feldman. I'm, I'm trying to find is, is Orlando Brown on the parallel with a Corey Feldman. Not saying that no. he was abused as a child actor, but. Oh, Hollywood that's what you're saying. ruined a part of him. I mean, I feel like Hollywood ruins a part of everybody. Except for the young girl. What it's about like Lawrence Fishburne? Kiki Palmer. She is uh, she's strong. She is shouts out to Kiki Palmer. From the shy. Uh, Love us some Kiki. She is uh, she is doing it. Like she seems like she got it under control. Like she's yeah. not gonna let Hollywood fuck her over. What about Lawrence Fishburne? He's a child actor. He was? Cornbread early me. He was in Apocalypse Now. I didn't know. Yeah, Lawrence Fishburne grew up in Hollywood too. He he was Morpheus. Yeah, I mean that was he was grown in Morpheus. That was that was. But yeah. I mean, Corey Feldman Morpheus ain't Morpheus. Orlando Brown Morpheus. ain't Morpheus. Lawrence Fishburne was Morpheus. Yeah, I mean, but he made it. But a lot of people make it from the transition. I mean, look at Britney. Look at JT. Look at you know what I'm saying. All of them, all those Mickey Mouse kids who made Christina Aguilera. Yeah. Like they're they're doing good. I mean, Britney Spears is doing fucking great. Kevin Featherline came back looking for more money. That's <laughs> what he's doing. He did? Yeah. 
Yeah. I didn't know that. He came back looking for like 20000 more a month. Nah. What the fuck do you need $20,000 $20, more a month? A month. Yeah. A month. Like, why can't they just, why can't she just send them over there with enough food and brand new clothes? <laughs> so you not, for you not to have to spend any money. And that's what I want to understand. What I want to understand is what is this lifestyle that requires tens of thousand dollars a month? Affluenza. It's a sickness. <sighs> wow. You see your boy just got out. Yeah, I saw that bullshit. That shit crazy. He killed four people, right? Affluenza. Yeah. Affluenza. And, right, because he's a rich kid, he couldn't handle going to jail. No, no, he didn't understand. He didn't understand, what he did right, what wrong. he did was wrong because he's privileged, overprivileged, and they call that affluenza. Like, how, so, for you to not understand what you did wrong, that means that you just got enough cars and enough private acres to just get drunk as you want to get and drive around and do donuts without ever leaving off your property. Hey, not to the as, point of murdering him. I'd like to have affluence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'd like to be affluenzic. Is there, is there an outbreak somewhere? Affluence. <laughs> yeah. Does Frontier fly to where this outbreak is? <laughs> like, do we love the rock now more than the Brahma Bull rock, the rock bottom rock, the people's elbow rock? Oh, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's... Because so everybody smells what the rock is cooking at this point. So... I watched WrestleMania for the first time ever. All right. You have been acclimated. And? This week. And it was decent. It was like, it was a soap opera. Like they say, it's, it's cool, you know? like So, you know, Vince McMahon coined the phrase sports entertainment. Oh, I did not know that. So, the WWE was one of a kind in its time at the time. Hmm. Yeah. All right, see, now I saw John, no, no, not John Cena. Yeah, it was John Cena. John Cena. He came out and fought that old man, Undertaker. Yeah, they fought. Yeah? Yeah. See, I didn't see WrestleMania. And the Undertaker whooped them. Yeah, I'm a freaking <laughs> wrestling fan, but I ain't, yeah, Undertaker is going to whoop everybody. That's, but he's so old. Don't you know, matter. Like, Ric Flair is for, like for uh, a first time watcher, you know, I, you know, like, <laughs> this old ass man. Rick Ric Flair is like 97, <laughs> and he's still getting it cracking. I thought so. he died. Ric Flair? No. No. It was just in the Migos video. Oh, I think now his daughter fought. I don't. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. Really but know. all right, let's get back to. But yeah, our but, boy Dwayne Johnson. But man, I feel like since, since how do we feel about Wayne right now? I feel like since it was Ballers and what came out with Ballers, the kids movie that came out with Ballers that he was in. Like since right then and there, he was going. Was it Moana? It might have been no, Moana. But what about the Fast and Furious movies though? No, see, I mean. That was all leading up to this mm -hmm. crazy. To the, like he's going because I feel right like now. I feel like pre and post Jumanji rock are two different. Or is it the no. Kevin Hart rock? You can't say pre and post Jumanji because all the Fast and Furious was before Jumanji. But I mean, this is a different rock. I think this is a different rock we're looking at. Like you got the Fast and Furious rock. Does he have a kid? Then you got the, the Kevin Hart rock, huh? Does he have a kid that just made it to grade school or something? I don't know. Because he is really doing it for, like, the whole family right now. It's it's because he's taking the Kevin Hart approach, man. Yeah, I, now my girl was saying something about Kevin Hart is trying to be a life coach. He's like trying to, like, like, mold people's careers and lives. They say she, that he was the one that put Tiffany Haddish on. And, like, he coached her through it, and he, you know what I'm saying, gave her the first couple of years. Well, that's the direction Charlamagne moving in, too. It's like this awakening we've been talking about. Like, you can see the products of the awakening. Yeah. Like, the, the black man is becoming this thing that helps. Yeah. It's a benefit. It's, it's, it's a benefit. The blackness is a benefit more than know, ever now. I don't know. I, I, it's, it's crazy, this new understanding in the world, because it's like, you go in the history books, mm -hmm. and everything that we're starting to really understand now Mm -hmm. was written in the history books. It tells you slaves invented all the irrigation systems for the masters. They invented the cotton gin. Mm -hmm. They invented peanut butter. They mm -hmm. invented, like, well, I want to... Ice cream. Yeah. And air like, conditioning. Traffic signals. <laughs> like, black people have always the been The super here. soaker. <laughs> Black people invented the super soaker? What? Yes. You didn't what? know a black man invented the super soaker? No. <clears throat> 
Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, Black Man Invented the Super Soaker. Um, They did a whole piece about him on, I don't know, Dateline or 60 Minutes or something. Yeah, yeah I, ain't, I ain't know that one. That's, that's pretty cool. Damn. All right. So, <laughs> it's been an explosion. Now, we love hip-hop, right? Mm-hmm. I love hip-hop. You love hip-hop. You know what I like about hip-hop? Competition. It's it's not a it's it's not a spectator sport. Spectator sport. And well, everything is, everything about hip hop, right? If you are hip hop, you're a part of a culture, right? So hip hop is about having the fresh shell toes. Hip hop is about having that backpack. I've never owned a pair of shell toes. Them Timberlands, I did. Y'all should y'all should give me a pair. Yeah. Uh, the backpack, you know, it's just about being the best at whatever part of hip hop that you represent. If you was a breaker, you was the best breaker. If you was a tagger, you was the best tagger. MC, mm-hmm. best MC. DJ, best DJ. Yeah. B boy, best B boy. So where are you going with this, man? Let's get there, man. What the hell are you talking about right now? Man? I'm talking about Nicki Minaj <laughs> and Cardi B. See, that's the thing. I don't have to compare them to each other. I know why you don't have I to. Compare, I'm just. Why can't I compare Nicki Minaj to Drake? That's who I think she's the most like. Oh no, I definitely you know yeah, like, yeah. Between Nicki Minaj and Drake, yeah, I probably yeah. listen to Nicki Minaj. But you know, Drake. this is this is you I'm I'm, I'm I don't have to compare this female to this female. No, nah, see I can compare Cardi B to let me let me think carefully. Oh, and there it goes. There it goes right there. We comparing Cardi B to Nori, but we comparing Nicki Minaj to Drake. Yeah, because to me, they're both products. No, no, no. Uh, oh, oh, wow. I see what you did there. You know what I'm saying? They're products. Uh-huh. They're not They're not rappers. They're not MCs. They won't just come out and just hit you with it. They have to go. Know. There's a team behind them. It's the same team that's behind both of them. You know? Like, but they're manufactured. Team, right? So but, so what is what is the opposition to a, a Nicki Minaj and a Drake? What is that? If they are manufactured by a team, who's yeah. not? Like, you see somebody like a, or even somebody who's in charge of their own team, like a Kendrick. Like, Kendrick, yeah, he's he's corporate, but he also takes charge. He's not just like, I, 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 that's what you want me to do, that's what I'm going to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's a, uh, this is my band. We're going to jam out for 45 minutes. Then we might come up with one song. Or we might come up with three songs. Mm-hmm. We're going to do it organically. We're going to go over here and do it like this. And you think Drake and Nicki Minaj don't do that? Like the um, like the B.O.B. song. What was the B.O.B. song that he got real big for? Lupe said, Atlanta gave me that song before they gave it to B.O.B. What, the I Be In The Sky thing? Or Strange Clouds? No, not Strange Clouds. In The Sky? Is that the one? I Be In The Sky. No, 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 no. It was just like the real big hit with the white boy on the chorus. Oh, with the Bruno Mars hook and all that? Yeah, yeah. I can't remember. They gave that song to Lupe first. That mm-hmm. is a manufactured piece of music. They sonically put that, you know, MK Ultra in there, and they flipped it and did this and here. But put, Cardi B will tell you herself out. that's what she did. Like with uh, Bodak Yellow and her other single, Be Careful. Mm-hmm. Like these are songs that he she heard. And she was like, I want this song. So that song became hers and was structured for it to be hers. Kind of like when Pac came out and they gave <clears> California Love. When they gave him All Eyes sweet. on Me. Yeah. 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 The same thing. But, but So I don't think that takes away from you being a rapper, though. Because, yeah. I mean, it's we got the internet now. Who knows how many of our favorite artists has had that process happen to them? Especially when labels were labels. Yeah. Like we just said, Tupac. Yeah, I mean, they just, they gave him, but I mean, that was also... And I don't think Biggie was in control. Nah, but I mean, obviously Puff was in control, though. Right. Because Puff was the one that brought him the juicy. Now, let's not get too hasty. We're not suggesting that Biggie and Tupac didn't write their own lyrics. I'm not No, I'm not suggesting that I'm not suggesting that. No, that's, no. Yeah. But I just feel like the quality (laughs) of Cardi B's lyrics... She could have done that herself. <laughs> what are you really saying? <laughs> what are you really saying, son? Like, speak on it. Like, you ain't gonna dance around this I one. I say how how eight motherfuckers got a Grammy for um 
All of the lights. So what what song was it? No, the Bruno Mars song, the one that they just got the Grammy for. Not twenty four karat, the newest one. You know, the smoothest in the fresh dry jiffy, Skippy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I look. Uh, I thought twenty four uh, karat magic uh, was his last single. Nah. What you talking about? The you ain't talking about the Cardi joint, are you? Strawberry champagne. That's what. I, that's what I like. Oh, that's yeah. what I like. So, yeah. all right, all right, because Mr. So, Auto Tune uh, got a Grammy, T Pain got a Grammy. Yeah, yeah. I mean, eight motherfuckers got a Grammy for right, that song. Right, right, right. Because eight motherfuckers wrote that song. Right. <laughs> you know, like, and I feel like that's the same thing that goes into a a Drake song. I think that's just Drake making that's just making music though. But I mean, like I, that doesn't warrant an asterisk. Be, between ghostwriting and just straight up biting. I like, I don't feel like it's 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 not the organic music that uh, that somebody like a Joey Badass would put out or a motherfucking or uh, yeah somebody along those lines like somebody so you're talking about you, you never question so you talking about creative freedoms yeah mm-hmm. I feel like like when you're part of that machine when you're part of that billion dollar machine mm-hmm. like it's been going since the since the late 90s we were just listening to the big timers the oh, big, man, timers the big timers are a part of the same machine that drake and Nicki minaj are part of now, this machine has been getting better and stronger wow and it's funny decades. that you mention that because we witnessed the machine work on lil wayne yeah Lil right. Wayne was a lot of the um, troubleshooting. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he did this. Oh, that didn't work. All right, we're not going to try it with the next And then artist. when it he was his turn to be worked on, they brought in a slew of artists. Yeah. To be the machine. Yeah. A lot of Chicago artists, too. Yeah. Mickey. Who? Yeah. Mickey. Gotti. It's a product, you know? And sometimes I feel like some artists put out their product, mm-hmm. and some artists are the product. Right. You know? Like, but... Don't get me wrong, being the product is going to make you way more money. But being the owner of the product is, you know, you can sleep better in your bed at night. But anywho, yeah, man, the world no... is the world at war? Are we at war? I don't know. It's scary times, man. It's a it's a heck of a time to be alive. It always makes me think about, like, because my grandma, my grandma is 95 years old. So mm-hmm. she didn't seen just about everything. Yeah, that's a lot. You know what I'm saying? And seen, you've been alive for a, a world war. Two. Not two. No. She's 95. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, a world war, Vietnam war, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, George Bush, and now here we are on the brink of something scary as hell. Like, I, I, and, and, and I was wondering, right? <laughs> the war in Afghanistan and everything that was post 9-11, was it the way it is now and we were just too young to be aware of the gravity of the situation at hand? I mean, yeah, with the whole... Like, that was an actual war. But is this one different because who we at war with? Yeah, because that was... I mean, we were fighting, like, gangs. You sending the Marines up against the Vice Lords. Mm-hmm. You sending the fucking Navy SEALs up against Phonem. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, feel me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, you did you just say what I think you said? <laughs> I, of course. That, that wasn't, you know, I mean, it's Al Qaeda. Yeah, they, they got access to grenades and rocket launchers and shit. But it wasn't they're a not nuclear organized, power. Yeah, they're not an organized military power. Mm-hmm. You know? Like, it was, yeah, that's not a real war. This is different. Because mm-hmm. you got you got big guys backing the little guys that you're bombing. And then you got other big guys that just don't like you waiting for you to hit anybody. Mm-hmm. Like, just, just, just get out of your body one time. We just, we don't come see about you. It's turning. He's, he's getting there. Like, you know, and it's, it's crazy. It's Friday the 13th. Boom. United States, UK, and France joint strike against Syria. So yeah. it's like we watching history being made right now once again. History's always being made. I mean, do you feel fear about this kind of stuff? 
No. I, I, uh, so I voted for the first time in this election, mm-hmm. not this presidential election, in the smaller election, the um, primaries that just passed. And I mean, I, I don't feel like I'm in any more, con- I don't have any more control than I had before I ever voted, you know. Mm-hmm. I, I voiced my opinion, you know, for, for what, for one second, one day out of the four years, you know. And they still gonna do whatever the fuck they want to do. You know? True. Like, I don't live in the best neighborhood. I used to have a constant fear of working on my computer in front of the front window and getting hit with a stray bullet. Mm-hmm. You know, that that went away. I don't know why it went away, but it's it's, uh, it's gone. You know, but there's not a lot that I can control. Mm-hmm. There's really nothing that I can control besides my physical body. You know, with the words that come out of my mouth and thoughts that I attract into me. That's all I can control. Everything else is going to happen, whether I like it or not. Yeah. If it was, if it was meant to happen, it's going to happen. If there was a reason for it to happen, it's going to happen. See, that, that, but that don't bring me no kind of, like, comfort or solace. It's like, when it's shit that happens in the world, I got the human complex where it's like, even though how 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 uh, uh, idiotic it sounds, my mind is still saying, we got to do something. It's like, ain't nothing you can do. See, there has to be something we can do, man. Like what, though? Like, we talking about nuclear superpowers. Like, fuck you gonna do? Uh, like, man, it's we, like... I mean, we could refuse. They fighting wars on the but, backs of our children but when and children's doing children. Is, like, they're... They're setting up tariffs against each other, saying you can't, we ain't trading with y'all. You can't trap with us. You can't hang. You ain't gang. You know what I'm saying? We going over here. Oh, y'all don't like what we said? Well, you can't trap with us either. We going mm-hmm. over here. We finna do this with them. We finna do this with them. But no, nah, y'all can't do it with us. Like, and if you do it with them, yeah, but we can't stop that. I can't say, oh, so you're not gonna, so there's gonna, so we're still trading, mm-hmm. but now there's a tariff on it. So if I want some Russian peanut butter. I got to pay three times the price because I still want that. And I'm going to pay that because that's what I want. And that's my personal happiness. I guess the thing that bothers me is this is the beginning. Like, I think the beginning. No, 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 no. I mean, like as far as, as far as it being on the news, I was thinking about that the other day. Anything that's on the news is not new. Yeah. Like, if they telling us about it now, that means it been going on for a while. No, but did you see the Donald Trump tweet? That's, this is the Which one are you talking thing. about? Because, dude, it, it's it's like the I'm whole thing about, is so phony. Like, why? what the? I'm talking about the throwback tweet when Donald Trump was telling Obama not to bomb Syria. Oh, I didn't see that. I and didn't it see like, it. Our, can somebody tell our really dumb leader that if he bombs Syria, the U.S. gets nothing out of this, you mm-hmm. know, and then, I don't know, it was and I guess that's what within it... that eight-year window, now, he actually bombed Syria. Mm-hmm. I, I think Donald Trump thought what we all thought at one point, that the president actually made decisions. Well, I mean, who bombed Syria? I mean, we know who bombed Syria, but I mean, like, who decided to bomb Syria? Yeah. I think that's some people we never know about. Mm. That's the them. That's the they. Conspiracy theories. Yeah. All right. So, the Seahawks decided against bringing in Colin Kaepernick for a workout at what would have been his first since becoming a free <coughs> agent in 2016, in the 2016 NFL season. Hmm. Seattle had contacted Kaepernick about two weeks ago to arrange a visit to the team's headquarters, but after the tentative arrangements were made and travel was planned, the trip was unexpectedly scuttled over the Seahawks' last-minute suspension. The Seahawks' last-minute what stipulation regarding Kaepernick's anthem stance A source told ESPN. So, basically, because of his stance, they refused to give him a workout. Uh, So, I want to know, who is paying Colin Kaepernick right now? He needs some money. 
I would assume he needs some money, but I don't know that he needs some money. No, I'm just saying he needs some money because he always does great shit with his money. So <laughs> I want to give him more. Right, money. we give him more money so he can, can do more great, great shit. shit. Yeah. yeah. Now I agree with that, of course. Like that's like a hey. given. And I think about that a lot. Like hey, nobody. Man, I mean, I I need more money. We all need more money, but I want to see what he does with it. Right. The, my Colin kind Kaepernick, of great shit. Colin Kaepernick, Chance the Rapper. These mm-hmm. guys are. So now. What is Chance's whole thing with SoundCloud? There's rumors that he bought SoundCloud to keep it up and running, but then there's also rumors that he just like infused some money into the company. Do you know anything about that? I've heard rumblings. I don't know much about Chance's situation with SoundCloud, but I know at one point um, it was announced that SoundCloud only had enough money to keep the site up for 30 30 days. 30 more days, yeah. Yeah. And then Chance was like, he posted, like, I'm going to save SoundCloud yeah, or something like gonna that. that's not going to happen. Yeah. SoundCloud's going to shut his doors. That's not going to happen. Not right. on my watch. Right. I don't know. What do you think? You think? I, I, you, think you know what? majority shareholder. 51% of the company. I think Chance, the rapper, is, I don't think we know enough about Chance. Like, as, as far, far as, as his as business well. in music. Yeah, because he's not a... Dumb business guy. Oh, no. He's not out here getting that at all. I think he's more of the businessman than the rapper. Now, I heard him on... Was it a G-Herbo song? You got to call him a musician. He's a rapper. He's Chance the Rapper. But is that like a euphemism, though? Like, is it like a... No, I think he's Chance the Rapper because of Chance and the two brothers with the long hair. They had their own... Reality TV show. And the uh, guy real in Chance? Yeah, and Chance was the rapper on that show, right? Uh-huh. And the other brother was the singer or something? Yeah. Yeah, so he had to separate himself from them. Oh, so not Chance, but Chance the, the rapper. rapper. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Because there was already a Chance who was the rapper. VH1 strikes again! You know so God damn it! That's that's my hypothesis. Mm-hmm. That's I didn't read that nowhere. I just... Oh. No, nah, but I think I think Chance the Rapper has uh has like because the whole we don't even know like the word independent is thrown around so much mm-hmm. that we don't know. It's kinda like organic now. The but word now, organic. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Like what is independent at this point? Because it's like now independent is a catch word to get people to listen to your music. No, nah, see independent just means that you come up with the product yourself. Mm-hmm. And then you shop it. How Jay did with um, Reasonable Doubt. The whole album was ready. He just needed a, dis- a distributor to put that shit out there. Mm-hmm. They went here, they turned him down, went here, they turned him down. He finally found somebody to distribute it for him, and he became Jay Z. You know? Wow, hell no. Nah. Look at this. We're on the Daily News website, right? The Daily News, they should have to take news out of the title, right? Because. Look what the trending stories are. James Comey, Syria, Khloe Kardashian, the Knicks, and Facebook. Oh, Zuckerberg made three bills. Look, look. And, and, during and the trial. Look at, look at, you think about how serious Facebook has become. Like, yeah. they talking about rigging an election. Did you see the Witch of God, though? Did you see the trial? I didn't. Yo, the questions they was asking was so fucking stupid. And like, wasn't he like, why the fuck didn't you ask your grandkids this before you came on TV? The grandkids could have told you this shit. You know what I mean, I guess it's like, we want you to say it. <laughs> and then like, when ain't uh, Mark Zuckerberg answering every question, like, I, I wasn't aware of that. Like, no, he, no, he's answering every question like, do I have to answer this? All right, all right. Ads. <laughs> I make my money off ads. All right. And, um, sir, so now here's approximately this many points of information on every user. And then you have approximately 600 million users. So that's approximately 1.8 billion information points. Do you sell these for money? Uh, ads. I make my money off of Ads. They kept asking him these dumbass questions, and Uh he's just like, "No, 
You don't know this? <laughs> so is so is Mark? Uh, what is what will be the fate of Mark Zuckerberg at this point? Because I'm not as I don't have my fingers close to the button at this point. I so somebody hacked him. Mm-hmm. What? And he went. He got. Yeah, you hacked Mark Zuckerberg. I mean, you know, they hacked Facebook. They got up in there. They saw something they weren't supposed to see. Right. And who knows if they actually took so somebody got so, behind the wall. Yeah, but they trying to say that they trying to make sure there's no collusion on the part yeah. of Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, trying huh. to make sure he didn't leave the back door open. Basically, did he leave the back door? Open? Nah, there's, there's evil people out here working to fuck your life. Should, should you huh? should you be thinking about deactivating your Facebook page? Everyone should always be thinking about deactivating their Facebook page. Take your shoes off. Take your socks off. Go stand in the fucking grass. Get in touch with nature, people. Yeah. Put your face in a book. (laughs) Put your head in some phones and listen to this podcast. Put your cheek on the titty. Every Sunday. It's a good feeling. Mm Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. Till next time, everybody. Salute. Uh, Time to get back to the students. Peace.